Today we're out here doing the uh, chamber flight for our flight nurses and some enlisted technician, medical enlisted technician. Uh, we're doing a women's only chamber flight today, so that's special. Go ahead and drop from the right hand side, find that lift. This is the first time we've actually done an all-female chamber flight where the entire crew is run by females. Um, so it's kind of a historical point for our career field and for this chamber at the space specifically. There were a lot of events that were going around and that were happening uh, to celebrate women in the workforce in particular and women in the military in particular uh, and just celebrating you know our increased numbers and our increased opportunity and so we thought you know hey we have enough women in uh, in our unit to uh, support uh, um, a flight, a chamber flight. So we thought, why don't we give it a try? And uh, it just so happens that we also ended up having enough female students to support that as well. We have two fully functioning altitude chambers as well as two fully functioning um, reduced oxygen breathing devices, um, which is a capability that is for usually used for refresher flights um, after they have come through the chamber um, five years later when they're due for their refreshers on physiology training. So anybody who's going to go up into uh, an aircraft uh, needs to go through physiology so that they can understand uh, the effects of altitude that they are up against uh, when they're flying in, in the higher altitude, lower pressure environments. The crew itself uh, has a number of different positions and we can't run a single chamber flight without each team member. So we have to have them all to uh, make it an effective flight. You know, we're going to have a lecture or a lock op. Uh, we're going to have a recorder. We're going to have a chamber op. We're going to have a inside observer, so there's two people sitting inside the chamber at any one time, and we have a crew chief. Uh, so those are all the different positions, and each one of those positions has a very specific role that they have to carry out to ensure, one, that we can do the chamber in a safe manner, and, and two, that we're taking care of our students. What we're doing in there is mimicking uh, what it would feel and look like as if the students uh, were, or the air crew rather, were to experience a decompression of the fuselage. So maybe a window is blown out or a door, a door is blown out on the actual aircraft itself. So that big sound that you see and hear and that they experience is just that. That's We're kind of uh, blowing that seal. The students did great today. Yeah, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, they were all very excited, you know, to be part of this, to be an all-women's chamber flight. So um, I think the excitement in and of itself was, um, you know, a great thing for them uh, to just to be a part of it. I love it. I love working with this uh, awesome, great group of people. Um, I love the women on this crew especially. I just moved here about three months ago and they're all very welcoming. They have a ton of knowledge to offer. They're on climb to 5,000 so we still have 800 feet to go. So the significance of this patch, uh, they had a female air crew member make these and um, it's just the saying, fly like a girl. And so we felt with all of us uh, being all female flight, all student flight, that we could wear that today. And, and rock it, essentially. <laughs> we want to raise awareness of, you know, that women are kicking butt right next to the males as well and that we're doing everything uh, the same. I think more than anything, the fact that we have enough females to support, you know, something like this, both as the crew and as the students, is just amazing. It shows uh, the evolution of our, of our country and of our society.